dream a little dream of me. Welcome kindreds, it's Jessica the Story Witch and I've got something a little bit different for you today. I hope you enjoy it. This is a video that I actually started filming back in the summer when I was having a major sort out of my tarot and oracle decks. As you can see I kind of had shelves not very well utilized for these decks. I was like when I wanted something I would kind of pull it out and then I'd be tucking things back in and things would get all higgledy piggledy and a huge mess and so it was not feeling it didn't feel good it didn't feel respectful and I knew that I had decks like tucked away that I wasn't using because they basically had been tucked down the back and I didn't see them so I decided the time had come to have a real proper sort out and I wanted to completely overhaul how I store my decks as well. I want to try and find a system and I feel like I might have. <laughs> I found a way that I can see my decks and I can also easily access them and yeah I'm, I'm kind of excited with how it turned out but it did take quite a while. It took me a couple of days to kind of get everything sorted. The first day, which is what I'm doing here now, is just like basically taking everything off the shelves and then I sorted them all. I sorted like the tarot from the oracle and then within that I kind of sorted them according to I guess like theme of the deck I suppose. So, um, and also sometimes like with Paulina Cassidy decks, I've got a lot of Paulina Cassidy decks, so I kept all those ones together. Um, I've got a few moon decks, so those went together, and I have quite a few decks that have like herbal stuff in them, so they went together. Um, animal decks, you know, that kind of thing. So, so I, yeah, basically kind of sorted them all out, although you'll probably see later on that that kind of sorting has not remained sorted because I found the way I use them just wasn't I'm just not that neat <laughs> but I'm hopeful that like I said the way that I'm the way that I've got them stored now it doesn't really matter because I can still very quickly think ah oh, yes and then pick up the thing that I want so so yeah it was really cool and really good fun to actually like look through and take some time with these. I did literally open every single box and look through every deck and kind of feel, I suppose kind of that Marie Kondo thing, you know, with like, does this spark joy? And how, yeah, how do I kind of feel about this deck? Is it, is it a deck that I want to keep? And I'd originally thought I was gonna get rid of a whole load of decks. But that hasn't happened. I have moved on a couple of decks since since I'm um, recording this video, but I kept more than I have got, than, more than I thought I would keep, I guess. Because it's always a struggle, isn't it? I know some people think it's crazy to have lots of tarot and oracle decks and my collection is not huge compared you know there's people here on youtube that have got many many more decks than me and really love it you know and have got cool ways of storing them and stuff and that works really works for them but i don't see myself really as like a collector i do see myself much more as like a user of decks i do i work with them um so why have loads i guess just because the the artwork is so fantastic. Like for ages I was just like a one deck person and I used to keep that deck in a pouch, like in a little velvet pouch and that was fine, it was great. You know, it was easy to transport. I never got confused because it was only the one. <laughs> so it was easy. But then I saw some other, you know, some other beautiful decks and I started to buy just a couple more. And originally I used to just like recycle because a lot of the time they would just be mass market decks that would come in like little tuck boxes. And I always think those are just like a little bit crappy. They never seem to hold their shape very well. And sometimes when you're like tucking the cards in, they can sometimes like bash into the cards when you're trying to tuck the little tuck piece in. And so I just used to get rid of those and recycle them and um, like I say, keep my decks in bags. And yeah, it just, 
it, the system that I was using just wasn't working as I was getting more decks, especially since I was getting Oracle decks too, because they seem to be much more variable in size and shape. You know, generally they're just a bit bigger and, and you can see my little helper here. <laughs> Frodo was enjoying having a little look at the decks as well because he doesn't usually get to do that so so yeah so I found now I've got probably between 50 and 60 decks I would say um I needed a different way of doing it because that way wasn't working anymore and I wanted to make sure that I stored my decks in a way that made them makes them easy to reach for and is a kind of respectful way of dealing with it and like I've got decks I use for different stuff like I've got decks that I use for meditation only or some decks like I've got a yoga deck here that I use for like exercising and I've got some that are for like ancestor work and inner child work you know and things like that so I it's nice not having them all higgledy piggledy and kind of messed up so yeah, let me know whether you think it's crazy having lots of decks or whether you have loads and loads of decks and that, you know, whether the, it's a nice problem to have, I guess, trying to figure out how to best store them. But what I went for, which is what you'll see me uh, starting to do here now, is I bought some of these like little picture shelves from Ikea, which are, they, they come in two different lengths. There's like a kind of shorter length and then a double length. And... I did need some help because it was tricky to get them level and everything on my own and also like hold all the stuff I needed to do so I wrote my husband in to, <laughs> to give me a hand and I arranged them around the wall on my desk, my desk wall so like as I'm sitting at my desk I can see them around me and then I've got the sh some smaller shelves on the side which are the decks that are the ones I'm using like kind of that month, the, the very bottom shelf I'm using for like my decks I'm doing working with that month and then the other decks I'm like rotating around and moving and doing different things I had originally like I said kind of sectioned them out into different things and kept them with that but that just clearly was not going to work and I also put some of them that had nice boxes back in their boxes because I'd originally taken them all out because that clearly wasn't going to work either I liked and I kind of like the look of it like that and my shelves now look lovely <laughs> I've got my little basket of stuff to go out the red tent and I have got a little pile of decks which are either my daughter's or to move on and the spare boxes the boxes I'm not using I have kept in case I do decide to like move them on in the future and some I use like Lisa from Caridron's Cauldron uh, I've used them for storing my art supplies and stuff because they're nice sturdy boxes and they look really cute so yeah and I'm so happy with it it's really working well and they're not like I say categorized as I had previously intended because I'm just not that kind of person but <laughs> but I think because I see them all now it's great let me know what you think. Let me know how you keep your decks. I would love to have a little peek at how other people do this as well. So yeah, if you fancy making a VR to this, then I would I would be very interested to watch. Thank you so much for watching. Warmest, warmest blessings. And I will see you very soon.